Dibble made out of proto putty. The stuff you absolutely need is clear silicone one all purpose. Now this is not food grade. 100% waterproof. It definitely is not food grade. Do not try to make chocolate molds or anything else out of it. I get the big tube because I'm going to make more than one thing. And it's good until 8 21 19 so I, it shouldn't be set up on me yet. The gun to use it through. And that little thingy, if you're dumb like me, didn't realize it, is to poke a hole once you cut the tip off. I didn't know that and I'm squeezing and squeezing and nothing's happening. I'm going, oh, it's all dried up. No. <laughs> you need to poke a hole. You need something to mix it in. You need something to mix it with. Pops of, or tongue depressors. Not essential. You can do it just plain. But food coloring of some sort. Once you get the food coloring mixed in, you need to add cornstarch. Lots and lots of cornstarch. And I do suggest gloves. I did it once without gloves, and uh, it's worse than trying to peel a sunburn. It just doesn't want to come off, and you've got multicolored, lumpy stuff on your body. The shape for the dibble to become. And I have the majority of my starts end up in these. I do double layer them because they are flimsy. I don't want them to bulge out that much. And this kind of keeps them a little bit safer. I do put a handle on mine and I just use an old clothes hanger if you can find a wire clothes hanger anywhere. Or you can use baling wire, any sort of stiff wire. And what I do is I try to cut it. Too weak, can't cut it. So I just bend it. And since I dented it, the, in the weakest spot is where the little cut was. And I straighten it out the best I can. Now on the end that's going to go into the proto putty, I put a hook on it. So once it's in the proto putty, it doesn't want to slide back out. Well, it may want to slide back out, but it can't. fairly straight. And on the other end, I put a little curl, and I will put a little bit of proto putty on it. Crimp it down, straighten it out. Straight enough for me. First, open up the caulking. And it's sealed down in there. Stab it. There it is, nice and juicy. Release the handle. Drop in the tube. Reset the handle. Put on gloves. We'll push that thing out of the way. Uh, tell when you get old and you can't do anything anymore. You need assistance. Now, put on the gloves before you go any further. And these are just 99 cent store gloves. Oh, definitely, definitely wear the gloves. Now for this, I would say I would need three quarters of a cup to a full cup. Oh, that looks like it's enough for me. Stop squishing out. Then you put in your color of choice. mix it in. Oh, this one's not going to be baby blue like the last one. 
Well, I don't know. I haven't got the cornstarch in there yet. You know, that does not look like it's going to be enough caulking. I've already got it on my thumb. Okay, color seems to be mixed in well, or well enough. Now comes the cornstarch. Lots and lots and lots of cornstarch. Oh, and by the way, do this outside because it stinks. And then you get to play in it. All you want. It takes like 20 minutes and it starts to get real solid. Just keep kneading it. <coughs> Where's my breeze when I need it? Yep, we're going to go to baby blue again. Oh, can't breathe. Wish I had fast forward on my camera, but I don't. Well, I do on the camera. <coughs> oh, just got a whiff of it. It's still sticky. Still way too sticky. I'll be in a very well ventilated area. <coughs> Almost wish I had a fan blowing. I guess as it cures, it gets stronger and stronger smelling because, man, it's getting hard to breathe over here. Oh dear, I don't want to touch my cornstarch, but I'm going to have to. Because that definitely has not got enough cornstarch. only been eight minutes. That's like a lot longer than that. Maybe they just make mittens. Rubber mittens. getting sticky again. That's ah, getting better. Starting to roll off the gloves. Except I don't have the gloves on my fingers either. Would help if you had gloves that actually fit. The thing is, it gets to a certain point that it just starts to set up. Last time I did it, I spread it out on a, one of these lids. It was a lot easier to work with. Still sticky. Just keep working with it. Just got another whiff. I do suggest, no matter where you do it, have a fan blowing. Ah, the consistency is getting better. And have somebody around to put the gloves back on you.
there we go, finally. Didn't think I was ever going to get to this point. You can feel it starting to set up. It's getting very stiff. That's taken about 10 minutes. See, this stuff starts peeling off of everywhere. It's getting to the point, that point is the hard part. The time consuming part. I think that's about as far as I can get with it. Ah, she's setting up now. I don't know that that's necessary, but I do it just in case it decides it doesn't want to come free. Pack it in as good as you can. Hopefully not distort it too much. Find your clothes hanger. Shove it in. Or your handle of whatever sort. Take some of the other stuff that's stuck on your fingers. It's heavy. Make a little top notch. It's getting too dry. It's starting to look all cracky. You can touch it now. Not a problem. Ah, don't like gloves. Don't like my hands being strangled. And now is when you can shape it into pretty much anything you want. So let's see, we'll make a little seed starter for the end of this one. So all I have to do is stick it in some dirt or something, soil, and make a little seed starting plug. That's it. And after it sets up, I just go and that feels like it's all the way to the bottom. Yeah, and it's not really distorted. And after it's all done setting up, then I'll just rinse off the exterior cornstarch. I have this mess to clean up now. Well, do I dare, since I'm impatient. Nope, not yet, because it's starting to crack up here. Don't want it to pull out of the top. And we'll let you sit for a few hours. Ever sees. Well, it's been a few hours. Let's see if I have to cut this out or if it will pop out. Oh, there's a lot of cornstarch in the bottom. Yeah, it might pop 
pop out. I might not. There you go. Oh, not exactly identical shape, but close enough. A hose you off. Now I think that's adequate. It's definitely set. It's quite hard. So whenever I pull out a transplant, yeah, pull out something from one of these to transplant. What I'll do is just stick this in the ground first, then plop in the plant. Now I have three protoputty dibbles. This one fits in the 200 little squares, and when I take them out of there, this particular pot. I shove it in the middle of the soil, it grows, then I take this one out and I can either put it straight in the soil, another pot or whatever, and then I have a larger one which matches this. And I don't know where it is. I used it when I was putting the plants in the permaculture bed, but I have no idea where it got to. I'll find it by spring. But this one doesn't really fit into that one too well. Now this really won't go into here to remove up. But I have a lot of these to plant in and a lot of these to plant in. So I got all my bases covered for come spring. <laughs>